last time on Chrono Trigger, the group made their way through the future ruins and found themselves a new robot buddy that Marie was able to fix up. At that point, they jumped into another gate and found themselves at the end of time. And now, we're going to explore the end of time. Let's see, what is this? Aha, uh -huh, that'll heal us. What about this one? This is the bucket we were warned about. Old man, hey! I warned you about that bucket. Hey. Hey what? Don't be in such a rush. Before you go, take a peek inside the room behind me. <gasps> okay. I guess we might as well. Hey, a cute dancing pig thing. What are you looking at, punk? I'm Speckico, the master of war. I've seen all kinds of battles from here. So how do I look to you guys? Strong or weak? I'm not gonna lie, you look pretty weak. I see. Let's put it this way. If you're strong, I look strong. If you're weak, I look weak. You are strong of will. That's why the old one let you through. Long before you were born, there was a kingdom where magic flourished. Everyone there could use it. But in time, people began to abuse their powers. It got so bad that no one was allowed to use magic, ex magic except wizards. But you have it. Determination, I mean. Magic needs power of the heart. It needs inner strength. Magic is divided into four types, too. Lightning, fire, water, and shadow. You, with the punk hairdo, you're lightning. The one with the ponytail is water. And the one with the goofy glasses, well, you're fire. Not just magic, but everything is based on the balance of these four powers. Thank magic, and start walking from the door. Walk clockwise along the walls of my room three times. Don't lose track now. Oh god, I forgot about this. If you don't do it just right, you'll have to start over. I think I messed up there. I'm scared of accidentally going through the door. I think I did it again, too. We could be here a while, folks. Yeah, I'm scared of going through the door there. <laughs> hmm, whoops, came off the wall there. You really have to... Wait a second, did he say clockwise or counterclockwise? Um, hey. No cheating, I'm watching. Do it over from the door, clockwise. Whoops. <laughs> it also pays... It, it pays to uh, pay attention to things instead of trying to rush through them. Again, I'm worried about going through that flipping door. Okay, so that's two, right? This will be the third time. Did we get it? Maybe not. What about this time? Oh, come on. I know. I know that I've... Did I get it? I think we did. Very good! Ipso facto minimo magico! Awesome. So Plump learned how to use magic. That was simple. Paige unlocked her magical talents. And Marie learned some new magic theories. So, fortified with magic now. You wanna try it out? Sure. Alright then, the god of war is ready. Speckico. Awesome, lightning. There we go. Oh, he can freeze us. That is pretty hardcore. He's gonna kill us. I'm not gonna waste any items trying to heal on this guy or anything, though. I don't think. Ice, fire. I'm not sure if we can even beat this guy yet. He's pretty tough. He's the god of war, after all. He's been sitting here at the end of time watching battles throughout history. Plump is probably dead. Oh yeah. Rest in peace, Plump. At least you were killed by, um... A total badass. Marie, you're gonna die too. We're all gonna die, I imagine. It won't be game over though, I don't think. I hope not. Magic is probably something that you won't see me using very often throughout the game. 
it, it does have uses, but I'm not, I don't remember how powerful it gets throughout the game. And most importantly, I don't think there's any combos with it. Like with the technical abilities, you've seen the X strike and the flame toss and things like that. I don't think that there's anything like that with magic, but I could be wrong. Well, Paige, say goodnight. Blarg. You really are the God of War. <laughs> I win. You guys are too much, though. Bring newcomers to meet me, and we'll see what they're capable of. I see, yeah, we're going to leave the God of War alone for now. Hey, what's up, old man? Well, well, people who lived long ago all enjoyed such powers. Now, I know you're itching to go ripping back and forth through time, but first, you need to return to your era, and you must hurry. The longer you remain here, the harder it will be to change that which must must be changed. Stop by whenever you're in the area. Oh, we will. Let's save it, too. Sorry, Metal. But we're gonna have to leave you here for now. We'll be back. Get to know the old man. And unfortunately for Robo, um, he can't learn any magic. Mystic Mountain, 65 million BC? No, we'll go there later. Medina Village, 1080. Let's go. No time to waste. Wow. A portal to 65 million years ago. Um... This is where the portal leads? Hey, you guys. Hey! Did you people just come out of the closet? Get out of here! Who do you think you are coming and going out of our closet at all hours? Scram! So yeah, that closet is how we get to and from the, the circuits of time here, I guess. Wait a second. Medina Village was founded by the ancestors of the mystics who lost a war to human beings. Most mystics hold a grudge against humans, so be careful out there. There's an odd man who lives near the cave in the mountains to the west. You might enjoy a chat with him. Thanks, monsters. Wait, why are you being so nice? Mystics aren't supposed to get along with humans. Well, humans fought the mystics over 400 years ago. My motto is forgive and forget, but not many seem to agree with me. They enjoy being filled with hate and anger, for some reason. Medina Square. Oh, what's that weird chanting? I was wondering the same thing. It's a statue to Magus. They're still worshipping him, huh? What? Sir Magus! 400 years have passed since Magus commanded the mystics and waged war against the humans. When Lavos is awakened, all humans are doomed! <laughs> as soon as Magus' creation, the mighty Lavos, awakens from his long sleep, the human race is doomed. So Magus created Lavos, huh? Long ago. Well then they all say the same thing? Yeah. So, Magus is the creator of Lavos, the creature that comes along and destroys the world. I guess I know what our goal is. Hey, you! No human's gonna talk to me! Whatever. Nothing here to sell to humans. Come on, sell us stuff. You know it all, humans. Teach them a lesson, boss. Really? We have to go through this? Look, we just wanted to give you money. If you're too good for our money, then fine. I guess we'll have to knock you out. Well, your boss is fired. You sure you don't want to sell us anything? We can always just kill you and take it. Hmm. Hey, we learned a dual tech from this battle. Antipode. Whatever that does. They got the boss? You monsters! All right, I'll sell something to you. <laughs> but it ain't gonna be cheap, huh? Demon Edge. Wow, I'd like to have that. Lumen Robe. Okay. Ha ha, funny. Ha <laughs> ha, you think I'm gonna cut my prices for a human? You'll have to kill me first. Well, we're not murderers, so whatever. Hey, you. No room here for humans. Scat. I'm not gonna fight him. You're spoiling my mill, scram! Ha! 
I hope those humans get what they deserve from Hecran. <laughs> Can we plead? Come on. Aw, pipe down, okay? Get him! Are we gonna have to destroy this whole town? What are we in, the south or something? This is ridiculous. Look, innkeeper. Yeah, take out his buddies here. All we wanted to do is get a place to sleep. What's so wrong with that? Hmm? Help! 200 gold per night. No, I'm not gonna pay 200 gold to rest. Forget that. The Elder's House. Ozzy the Eighth uses his ancestor's fame to boss us around. Hey, what's this? A speed tab. Nice. This work is brutal. Um, I'm gonna use the speed tab on... Let's use it on our healer page. So, you're Ozzy the Eighth. I'm Medina's village leader. My ancestors served the Great Magus. Oh, Great Magus, why didn't you simply exterminate the human race 400 years ago? These monsters really have a fetish over him, don't they? A beast lives in a cave on the mountain to the west. Only magic attacks can harm it. Those who don't possess magic will find it difficult to sneak by. Well, better get back to work and tidy up before Ozzy finds me. Yay, another magic, or a magic tab. I think it's our first magic tab. Um, I'm gonna use that on... Hmm. Let's use it on page, why not? I don't really know whose magic I'm going to be using most, but whatever. So, what is this place? The Forest Ruins. There's treasure. That's always nice. A mid either. Wow, what is this place? Some type of fancy force field. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything here. Interesting, though, and beautiful. So let's go to the west. Check out this place they're talking about. They say there's an old man that lives over here, huh? I wonder if he lives in this house. Melquire's hut. Hey, it's you. Ah, hello. Can I interest you in a weapon? Yeah, sure. What are you selling? A red katana? A robin bow? A plasma gun? Hmm. You know what? Let's buy two Titan Vests. Weapons. If there weren't evil in this world, there'd be no need for weapons. What a sad state of affairs. The good being forced to fight. Hmm. Actually, hang on. Let me... Let me equip this new stuff and sell all of the old gear that I've got. Okay. Titan vest for you. And yeah, let's get rid of all this junk that I don't need. It is a sad state of affairs when good people have to pick up weapons. Okay. Iron blade. Get out of here. Saber. Load sword. Goodbye. This is pretty good money, actually. The Bronze Edge, goodbye. Wow. I have a lot more money than I thought I did. Holy crap. Okay. Nice. What do you have in the basement, old man? Anything? Is there any secrets around here? I like his weapon collection on the wall. I really wish that there was something else we could talk to you about. What if I say no thanks? No, I'm not interested. Really? Well, you know where to find me should the need arise. Should you desire to return to Truce Village, use the shortcut through the cave in the mountains to the north. Thanks, old man. He must remember us from the fair. Hecran Cave. 
Death to the Mystic's enemies! Come on, guys, it's been 400 years. You'd think you'd get over it by now. Actually, I also want to back out of here and save. Ow. Guy hit pretty strong. Hit pretty hard. I always mangle words. It's like I form two or three sentences in my head, and then I just mash them together real quick in order to get something out of my mouth. The village of magic. So if I ever say something really dumb, just imagine that I'm putting multiple sentences together, and you can, you know, try to figure out what I was thinking. Happens all the time. What do we got? An either. Okay, I've got tons of those at this point. For a second I was kind of excited that that might have been a treasure item. But no, it looks like a trap. A gin bottle. Okay, please kill the bottle here. Um... I bet you I know what, it, what it's weak to. Please, keep attacking, Plump. Um... Yes, there are status elements in this game that we haven't really seen yet. I mean, you can be blinded, paralyzed, everything like that. Awesome, okay. This... I'm just gonna spam the attack button here. Bonk. They do a lot less damage whenever they have to bonk him in the head, don't they? I'm gonna have sushi tonight. Let's take some of this back to Truce Village with us. Not bad. Five tech points from that? That's pretty good. I wanna see something. Okay, he'll learn spin cut and 148 skill points. That's crazy. We don't know any triple tech yet. Um, oh, wait. She can learn cure. That's neat. 138 skill points. Napalm, 148. Antipode. Attacks enemies with antipode. I'm curious what that does. Let's heal everybody up. All the way up. So this must lead under the ocean. Considering the fact that's the only way that we could possibly get there. The land masses aren't connected. Oh, great. All of these things are only weak to magic. Except the octopods, the octo blushes, whatever. Poke? Stabby, stab, stab? What are you doing? Is he trying to pump water or something? Strange little creature trying to bury himself. Four tech points. Getting better. Okay, we can go down. A midi. The question is, which way is the right way? And which way will lead me to fabulous treasure? Great. Everybody use your attacks. Your magic attacks. Sizzling. Snap, crackle, pop. I guess the good thing is it doesn't take multiple attacks to kill them. And if you've noticed, magic spells and tech attacks don't really take that much magic. The maximum MP you can get in this game is 99. Eight tech points? Delicious. Page levels up. And what do we have here? Another either. A save point up there, huh? Okay, what do we have here? I kind of want to go back and check out that other door. Wow. Roly poly. Okay, are these things weak to physical attacks, or are they also just magic dependent whatever mm. 
You know what? Let's ice him. It might be for the best. I think Plump could probably slowly kill them. Like, two turns each, but the girls are going to have a lot more problems than that. Pop him like a dog tick. Oh, that's disgusting. I apologize for that visual image. Not bad. Four tech points. A mid tonic plump and Marie level up. Nice. So that goes up there. I want to see something. Do the monsters come back? No. I don't know how the monsters respawn, if I have to completely leave the area, or what. Or if they only respawn if you start a new game. Some enemies, once you kill them, they're dead for good. 50... At some point, I'm gonna replace her, um, her spyglass with something better. Because knowing the enemy's health is useful and all, but... There's got to be something better for her to equip. Is it getting hot in here? There's a heat wave going on. It's not just her fire attack. Three tech points. Another mid tonic. I see you up there, Bat. Good lord. Oh well, we need all the experience we can get, right? Cave Bat, 108. Are they weak to physical attacks? No. I guess it's true what they said. Nothing in here is weak to physical attacks, except those guards in the entrance. And the Octoblushes. Which means I'm probably going to have to use them either. Or a shelter. Our MP is starting to run just a bit low. Yay, everybody's so happy. This better be good. A magic scarf. Now, who can wear that? Page. Magic plus two, huh? I guess we'll wear it. I don't think that these stats actually really do very much. The plus one speed, um, was that actually that useful? I doubt it. The plus two magic, is that useful? I am also doubting that. Okay, what do we got up here? More bat monsters. Come on, bats, don't do this to us. And I don't want your rabies either. What? Plump, you are extremely weak with magic, aren't you? Okay. The girls can kill these things in one magic attack. I don't know what's wrong with Plump. For once, he's finally the, uh, the weak link here. Okay, no more magic attacks on this guy. Finish the job, Plump. Good job. Anything down here? No. So, what is waiting in here for us? Oh, I see you. I don't know if there is a way to sneak around this thing or not, but I doubt it. Figured I'd run up to it and rub it. Maybe it'd be like a magic lamp or something to give us a wish. Who wished for the octopuses? Not bad. And there we go, he's blinded. It was only a matter of time. Nope. He ain't gonna be able to hit, is he? Okay, then. If I die to these things... I will be sad. Um, let's see. 
You know what? Ice that one. And Plump, just use Lightning on it. I'll heal up after the battle. I need to use a bunch of tonics anyways. Freak out! I hope these I hope these status elements don't persist between battles. Do they? No. You never know. This game is fairly easy if you haven't noticed, but I would almost expect it to do something like that. We have 19 ethers. They only restore 10 MP. Okay, I better use them. There we go. Oh, another chest. It's sealed with a mysterious energy. Well, isn't that interesting? I wonder what it's doing all the way in here. I'm excited. It's giving me the hiccups. Hmm. Do we have anything waiting for us? Any monsters gonna ambush us? A well, save point, that's always a good sign. What? There we go. Hey. There we go. Like, is this a trick save point or what? What's that? Death to the Mystic's enemies! Holy crap, what is that thing? Hecran! So, this is the monster that they were talking about, huh? Use lightning. We'll see how many hit points this beast has here in a moment. I'll have Marie scout him out. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay, apparently I can't see it. Boss monsters, you're not allowed to scout out. You need the super secret deluxe spyglass for that. So what big attacks is this monster hiding? Yakra had its needle attack. <coughs> yeah, wonderful critical there. Totally awesome. That's gonna be the, the tide turner here. I don't think this guy's gonna last. There it is. I betcha. Even though he used water on Paige, thankfully. I'll have Paige heal herself here in a moment. There we go. Wait, she learned Provoke? What does that do? Apparently I missed that at some point. Go ahead, try and attack. No! Seeing as how you're telling me to, no. I don't wanna. Confuses an enemy. Attacks an enemy with Antipode. Okay. If an enemy ever tells you to attack, what are you going to do? Never listen to your foes. Well, maybe sometimes you should, but for the most part, no. Come on, you can't have that much life left. Yeah. Plump is certainly a little bit susceptible to water. More so than Paige, anyways, since that's her element. Oh, yeah. This is working pretty good. I'm not worried about this battle. It's pretty chillax, actually. Just kick back, get a drink. Yes, indeed! Nope, still not worried. Not at all. Um, actually, you use a tonic. You heal her. Now we're good to go. I'm still worried he might have a surprise. Uh, okay, you heal Plump. You heal Paige. Now we're good to go. She was already maximum healed. Brief counterattack break. A brief one? How brief? We're gonna find out here. Oh crap. I think I just might have killed two of my people. It was a lot more brief than I thought it was going to be. Or maybe... Okay, cool. 
Wait, so I can attack him with magic when he's like that, and he's not gonna strike me back? Really? That's swell. Yes, indeed. Okay, you know what? Heal up. You go ahead and heal Marie here. We've got your number, Hecran. The Mystics are finished 400 years ago. Um, I'm going to try to attack him again like this. Just because I want to see. Water Wave. I should have known better. I should have known better. Okay. So don't attack, don't attack him when he's like that. Unless it says a brief counterattack break. That was bad news. And, yeah, heal page. Just biding our time here. There we go. Um, yeah, max out Plump's hit points. Or not. Good night, Hecran. Yeah, page levels up. Ten tech points. If only the great Magus who brought forth Lavos 400 years ago had destroyed the human race, the world would have belonged to us mystics. You mean monsters. Hateful, spite-filled monsters. Huh. In the Middle Ages, Magus created Lavos, the destroyer of this planet's future. If we go to the Middle Ages and take out Magus, can we change history? You know, we could use the gate at the fairgrounds to find out. I wonder. The question is, should we? Just because we can change history, does that mean we should? Who knows what repercussions that could have in the timeline. Take out somebody as powerful as Magus. We're home! Oh, good. It's so great to be back. Oh, you're just in time! Yes, a tab and vest. It's my finest work, the ultimate in defense for my daughter. Well, let's just see how ultimate. One more, speed plus two, and fire guard up. Nice. You're one hell of a dad. Hey, Marie! I'd like to see more of her. I've been making items that she'd like. Well, we'll have to swing by more often. If we can. Marie and Tabin only care about their silly toys. I wonder what Marie's mom does. Hmm. Where should we go? The mayor's manor, maybe? No. I don't need to go back here. Whoops. Okay, first... Let's check out the inn. Let's see what's going on here. Been to the fair yet? Yep. Wasn't that a trip? I spent all my silver points at the Tent of Horrors. Yeah, we'll spend the night here. Even though I, I'm going to head home to see Mom here in a minute, and we could rest for free there. But you know, sometimes it's good to sleep out on the road. Remember the earthquake? Yep. Of course, these people know nothing of our grand adventures so far. Hey, Mom. Plump! Plump, you had me so worried. I heard you were to be executed, dear. Stop scaring me like that. Oh, they're just joking around, Mom. You know how it is. They were never gonna do that. It's all talk. Meow. Meow. Hi. Marie, we hardly see you these days. Well, I've been kind of busy. Well, don't let life pass you by, dear. And say hi to your parents for me. We'll have to bring all of our friends there. I'm sure Mom would like to meet all of them. There used to be a cathedral in the woods to the west. I do wonder what happened. We didn't burn it down, even though we probably should have. I want to go see somebody real quick. Do you remember that dude that we rescued in the prison? Fritz? 
Do you remember that one girl worrying about him? Where was he at? Are you Fritz? No. None of that stuff is good. Farewell, sir. What about... No, not there. Maybe Fritz lives here? Hey, I want to go to the festival too. Yeah. Well, where's Fritz at? Hmm. Wait. Um... Some monsters, yeah. Yeah. Maybe Fritz was in the first town up there? That's the mayor's manor. A selfish old man. Well, I thought that Fritz lived down here, but apparently he lives... in the first town? Hmm. We could also swing by the castle and see if we can get arrested again. That would always be a hoot. Truce in... Maybe here. Hey, it's Fritz, right? <laughs> You're never too old to collect silver points. I'm so happy I could scream. Hmm. Well, where is Fritz? I used to be a, uh... Well, apparently I've lost track of things already. Oh, well. Let's swing by the castle real quick. See if we can lose our head. Taunt them. Ha ha ha. Coming through. I don't, I'm not going mushroom hunting, so forget it. I wonder if they'll even let us in. Princess Nadia! Come on, Plump. I don't want to see that bull-headed fool. Let's just leave. Princess, come back! Okay, so no, we can't go to the castle anymore. The princess doesn't want to go there, and I'm sure that no good would come from it anyways. The Chancellor, no doubt, still wants our head. So next stop, then, is what? The past? Uh, yeah, must be. Let's see what's going on at the fair. Actually, before we go anywhere, I want to try out the, sh the House of Horrors here. Not the whorehouse, the house of horrors. Horrors. Horror. Let's see, I will wager ten points. Triplets, huh? There's Vix, Wedge, and Piet. Vix and Wedge. Oh, crap. Vix and Wedge. Piet's in the center, I think. Yep. Good deal. Is it that obvious? It's a Pogyo's doll. It'll spruce up your room. Whose room does it go in? It must go in mine. So yes, the easiest way to do that one, to do that thing there is to um, watch, watch Vix and Wedge. If you, if you, if you can, watch them with your eyes. Awesome, we got a doll. Oh, You can get a doll for each character, and it will go into, uh, the doll will be placed in to each character's, I guess, special location. Like, if you get one for Marie, it'll go into her bedroom, or into her house, and if you get one for Paige, I think it'll go into the castle somewhere. Yeah, there's no telling. And there's other things you can win, too. At some point, I may make a video dedicated simply to grinding out silver points and uh, trying to win prizes with them. That'll be much later on, though. Don't really feel like doing it right now. Let's go to the past. We have a Magus to go kill. Let's see if we can change the future so that Lavos never destroys it. Hey, neat. Hey, old man, we're back. Wake up. Come see me anytime. Let's heal up here. And, um... You know what? I think I'm actually going to end the video here. A little bit shorter than the others, but only by a few minutes. And whenever we come back, we will continue our journey and uh, go back to the 600 AD. 
and see what we can do there, and hopefully not make things worse. <laughs>